Hello everybody, today is April 24th, it is Wednesday, this video is going to be coming out on the 25th on Thursday. We just had a big day in the market on Tuesday, um, SP500 up 1.19%, NASDAQ up 1.49%, and the Dow Jones up 0.69%. And whenever you thought that, you know, the world was ending, everything was going to be just dropping and dropping, the last two days, well, since the 19th, we are up over 2%. We've broke above 5,000, the S&P 500 again. I have no idea where these markets are going. I have no idea. It's, it's going to be wild. Um, I feel like a lot of it's going to be weighing on what the Fed say, how Jay Powell reacts and his wording on things. Um, we've went from probably going to have a rate cut in June to definitely not. I don't think we're going to have a rate cut in June. Don't think we're going to have one in July neither the way it's looking. Maybe September, but honestly, even that's kind of a toss-up now. We're an inflation report away from it being hot, and I could see that pushed out to November. And honestly, the way things are looking, it wouldn't surprise me if we didn't get a rate cut this year. Um, inflation staying hot and higher for longer for even longer may be a reality. Um, so there is some things going on in the markets. Uh, MSCI down over 13% on their earnings report. Now let's go ahead and take a look at that real quick. I didn't think it was a terrible earnings for it to warrant that big of a drop. Uh, so yeah, dropped over 13% on their earnings. Uh, revenue missed barely, beat on EPS. But yeah, that's a, that's a big big drop and for something that I liked uh, off the tie it's down 26.20% that is crazy to me um, the other one S&P Global is another one that's very similar uh, down over 10% but uh, yeah MSCI hit hard hit very very hard on a slight earnings miss. And does that open the door for an opportunity? That's up for you to decide, do your own research and stuff for that. But I, if I owned individual stocks, I would definitely be not upset at this. Um, but think, speaking of things that missed on their earnings and their revenue, Tesla missed on both. Missed on EPS by over 9%, missed on revenue by over 4%, and the reaction from them, they are up almost 12% in the after hours currently. What in the world is going on there? I don't know if it's just where it's been beat down so much. It was down, what was it, 42% at one point year to date. Uh, still down 41%. Look over the last year. Uh, they had a peak here. Let's see here. I can find it. Yeah, I think it's peak 293. They're down over 50% off their high. So I don't know if this was just beaten up to the point of like it's gonna pop back up or what, but that's just. I'm a little lost on that one. Uh, you miss on everything, but you still go up. And then they had the big cyber truck recall. A lot of things don't make sense with that, but. I own individual ETFs. I'm an ETF investor now. Of course, I'll do individual research on holdings and stuff so I can make videos and things for you. And I, just, I just enjoy that. I like the interaction in the YouTubes. But um, what am I going to be doing? What exactly am I doing with my portfolio? So we'll take a look here year to date. Year to date, we're at 6.49%. S&P 500, 6.91%. Uh, I think with this setup that I currently have, I am going to beat the market reliably year in and year out. So, 34% in core ETFs, 33% in dividend ETFs, and 33% is in growth ETFs in my core section. 
50-50 split between VTI and VOO. That is how we are rocking that one. The dividend ETFs is just VYM. I uh, chose VYM over SCHD. I like the holdings and the more diversity with VYM. And uh, I don't think SCHD is going to have that big dividend growth going forward. I think they're more focused on stability than growth. So that's the big reason why I went with VYM there. And for growth ETFs, we got VUG, the Vanguard Growth, and VGT, the Vanguard Information and Technology. Again, 50-50 split between those. I am going to be getting paid on Friday. I'm probably just going to do lit and on finance do its thing with the pie separations. I'm probably going to put a little bit in on Monday, uh, on Friday, see what the markets do, and then the next Friday, if I see that they're still down a little bit, I might put some more in, and just DCA through things. That's my intentions. That's how everything. That's how I'm going to be doing everything going forward. Um, I just think that this is the best thing for me at the moment. Now, if I had more time, my job wasn't so demanding, maybe I could do a little bit more research into things, but like, even to make these, I have to wake up a bit early before I even head into work, but I like doing the YouTube thing. But yeah, uh, going forward, probably just going to do a nice little DCA into my portfolio here and there multiple times every two weeks. And uh, just see what the markets do. See how what uh, Jay Powell says. I think the meeting's coming up uh, in seven days. There is 98.1% chance that the rates stay the same. So that's pretty much guaranteed, written in stone, that the rates are going to absolutely stay the same. The markets, I think, are still going to be crazy all over the place, parabolic. Let's see what things are looking at in the after hours right now. Up just a smidge, not 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 too much. But yeah, that's just a quick little video. Hope that uh, everyone's doing well. Uh, let me know down below if yens are buying anything, what yens are doing. I like to talk to yens, and uh, hit that like and subscribe button if you're new. I greatly appreciate it, and you can join me on this investing journey. We can grow our portfolios and the channel together. And until next time, take care. See yens.